Good morning, North Point. It's October 7th. 2015, I'm Trevor Fryman. And I'm Mary Weichel. And Wake, Wake Up North, North Point starts, starts right now. In school news, it's Work It Out Wednesday. Remember, teachers, for the rest of the week, your a &H classes will be in the gym to work with our guest artist. Also today, we have K-3 through third Panther Awards. We'll see those in just a bit. Let's take a look at today's weather. Good morning. A dirty ridge of high pressure remains in control of our weather. A clean ridge would be bringing us crystal clear skies, but a dirty ridge enables a few mid to high clouds to exist. Our only real weather maker during the next six or seven days looks to move into the area for Friday. Rain will be likely on Friday. Now onto our word of the day. Today's word is esquiver, which means to escape. Now onto lunch. Lunch today would be chicken patty on bun, yogurt cheese, graham crackers, uh, baked beans, tater tots, sandwich trimmings, crispy carrots and celery sticks, fresh fruit cup, applesauce, 100% fruit punch. Now on to Studio B for Panther Awards. Good morning, North Point Panthers. We are so excited to give our first Panther Awards of the year. These are students who've gone above and beyond in practicing pause, being good citizens, helping others, and just being great Panthers. So we're going to start this morning with Ms. Gladwell's class and Manabi Sasaki. Congratulations, Manabi. From Ms. Gladwell's class, we also have Logan Johnson. Is that an afternoon student? Ms. Jackson's class, we have Alexis Campson. <laughs> Give her a big hand. Congratulations, Alexis. From Ms. Mormon's class, Emily Sang. From Ms. Kennard's class, we have Ryan Underwood. <coughs> From Ms. Mead, we have Max Mertz. From Ms. Simpson's second grade class, we have Everett Hall. Stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To start of headlines, we're talking about life on Mars. There are still no signs of little green men, but NASA announced on Monday the discovery of proof of recent flowing liquid water on Mars. These findings boost the odds that there is life on the red planet. This is not the first discovery of water on Mars. Scientists confirmed in 2008 that the red planet has frozen water. Now, instruments on board NASA, NASA's Mars Recognizer Orbiter has found the strongest evidence yet that salt water in liquid form trickles down certain Martin slopes each summer. According to researchers, Mars is now the only planet in our solar system to show signs of water on its surface other than our own. Five years ago, researchers spotted dark, narrow streaks on Mars' surface that tend to appear and grow during the warmest Martian months and fade the rest of the year. The streaks look like signs of liquid water, but landslides or dust couldn't be ruled out. Because liquid, wa liquid water is necessary for life, the findings suggest that it would be possible for them to be life today on Mars. The best way for a nap to determine whether, whether there's life on Mars is to collect rocks and soil for study on Earth. A U.S. lander set for liftoff in 2020 will do just that. That's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day in 1913, for the first time, Henry Ford's entire Highland Park, Michigan automobile factory is run on a consecutive moving assembly line with the classic it, the automobile's frame is assembled using the revolutionary industrial technology. And now for our fun fact, did you know that both boys and girls in, the, in 1600s England and New England wore dresses until they were about seven years old? Really? That is true. Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you next time with some more great news. And remember, North Point, keep your paws up. Make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is yours. yours.